I think we'll get some spinner baits, a couple of frogs. Bam! Oh, hey there, guys. What's going on? You guys are probably wondering why I'm sitting in my boat right now I'm with a laptop because this is not what normal people do, huh? I'm just ordering some new fire baits from shopcarls.com. It's the nicest thing ever. I save so much money ordering directly from this website. All I do is go like this, boom, click check out, and bam. Just like that, I get fire baits showing right up to my door, and uh, I'm ready to go fish with them. So that's gonna get me into today's video. Today's video is sponsored by Shop Carls. Thank you so much, Shop Carls, for uh, supporting this YouTube channel and uh, you know just just creating fire deals for us fishermen. You guys can save up to 30% off on your fishing tackle by signing up for Shop Carls. There's a link in my description below. You guys should check it out. All right, well, well, hey there. Welcome back. I hope you guys liked that insanely corny intro. It was pretty terrible. So because I just got a bunch of nice tackle that showed up at my door here today, actually a couple of weeks ago, not today, but I'm just saying today because you're watching the video right now. I got a lot of baits here and uh, I still am trying to catch a big bass. I've gone to Florida, I've gone to Michigan, I live in Ohio, and I've been trying to catch at least like a four pounder for I can't even count how many days now. It's just, it's kind of just been ridiculous. So, I'm gonna take some baits here with me and I did find some new ponds. So either we're gonna epically fail today or we're gonna catch a slaunch. But maybe I should just stop saying I'm gonna catch a slaunch because maybe I'd actually catch one if, if I didn't do that. But uh, I found some new ponds. I found some new ponds last night laying in bed on Google Maps. So we're gonna drive to them today. I'm gonna bring whatever I got in that box and a couple of fishing rods, probably these flip-flops because I'm too lazy to put on shoes. And we're gonna try and get it done today. I'm excited, any day I get to go fishing is a beautiful day. Let's go see what kind of nonsense I get in today. It would be so amazing if one time a random pond that I find on Google Maps has fish in it, like good fish. I've literally done Google Map challenges or tried to make Google Map videos several times before and they actually never even made the channel because I'll spend like hours and hours and hours of looking and none of them will be at all worth it, so. Bingo. Ugh. You know, I don't have great vibes about this one. It's just one of those ponds where you're looking at it and you're like, it looks really shallow. It kind of looks, it's, it's by a library. I never knew this place was here and I know where I'm currently at. So, we're gonna go down here and look. I can see the bottom of them from up here. Ah, oh, man. See, this is how they always go for me. I'm not gonna be negative, though. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna try and be positive about this. I'm gonna walk down this random path. We're gonna take a couple of cats, and, well, we're gonna see what happens. What should we start with? Yeah, we'll go with the Ketchco square bill. That was good. I think we are gonna make some adjustments. Oh, there's actually, there's three bass right there. Here, watch this. They're teeny, but there are bass. Wait a minute. We're gonna take a little googing, crack and crawl, flip it in front of these guys. Where'd they come from? I mean, guys, these are by no means big bass. They are like micro bass, but we're gonna try and catch them anyways, just for fun and see what happens. Look at this. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Sorry, buddy. He somehow got snagged. What the heck? Sorry, bud. I think he'll be okay. I hope to God. If not, he's gonna be duck food. I'm sorry, bro. How the heck did I peg him in the stomach? He went down after it, and I set the hook, and he must have picked it up, and I feel bad. I feel really bad. He swam off though. Hopefully I didn't hit any. Oh man. See, I gotta go. <laughs> oh, that just, it's not a good feeling when that happens, you know? I totally thought he picked it up. I just feel terrible now. That just makes me sad. 
Sorry that you guys even had to see that. But I put it in the video because, you know, I'm just not gonna sugarcoat things. There's a bass. Decent one. He got hung up on a log though. Oh no. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh no. He wrapped a log. You gotta be kidding me. Come on, swim out, swim out, swim out. Look, oh, did you see him jump over there? I don't know if he got off or... This is how my day's going already, guys. I, if I don't just kill every bass in this pond. Oh, man. Come on. Maybe there are a lot of fish in here. Maybe not too big a size, but... Hmm. You guys think I could jump over this? It's been a... You know what? I think I'm just going to cross the normal way. Whew. Okay, here we go. I'm hoping I can pull this around. You gotta be kidding me. The one day I decided to use fluorocarbon and not braid. Guys, there's bass everywhere. They're not big, but... Are you kidding me? Okay, I'm gonna spend some time here. I don't think there's any giants, but they are hitting the crawl. So I'm gonna go back to the Guggen Baits crack and crawl and we're gonna get a smaller bullet weight and I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna use I don't know we'll see in case you guys are curious I just got a green pumpkin Guggen crawl I really like these crawls not only are they great to be fish Texas rig but they're also really good for jig trailers so I've been happy with them so far I've caught a lot of fish on them I apparently have caused a lot of mayhem in this pond already. Um, I see a whole bunch of bass moving around over here. Nothing huge, but I mean, if there's babies, there's gotta be a mama, right? Watch this be the place I end up catching like a five pounder. That would be hilarious. So, they're following it. They're really little though. Like I'm talking micro, like fish tank bass over here. There we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're so little they can't get the hook in their mouth. I bet you if I threw like a little ribbon tail worm, they would smash it. But every time they just pick it up and they're just like, nope. Is that a crappie? Nope, that's a bass. See guys, these are what just keep on nipping at me. Oh, oh, okay. Gone you go, buddy. I'm not gonna sit here and catch dinks all day, but there's gotta be a bigger one. I mean, where are these little ones coming from? They're probably on that juicy edge over there that actually looks worth fishing. So originally I tried to start on that side of the lake so I parked up there, but the parking lot's like 90 feet above the actual pond. So that wasn't going to happen. I would have had to jump off a cliff. And I don't know about you, but I'm not trying to jump off cliffs today. That's a pretty big darn cliff. But I do think that there might be some up in here up on this shoreline. Let's fling something out there and just let it sink. See what happens. I'm trying to just fish the bottom. Oh, as soon as it hit the water, I got one. No way, guys. Maybe this thing is stacked. This is a little bit better one. Look at that. Okay. Maybe this just is just like a big old puddle stacked up with fish. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. This is so weird. It's like almost every cast. Thanks, bud. They're getting bigger. Man. I was being all negative, I'm like, great, this looks like a shallow, turdy pond, but maybe the sign's right, maybe it's got some depth to it, maybe it's got some structure in there that I can't see from here, and uh, maybe, just maybe, it might have some potential. I'm not going to get my hopes up for a giant, but I've caught a couple fish, <laughs> and I just, I just let it sink on the drop it got hit, so let's, I don't know, let's just crank it back out there a little Guggen crawls showing me what's up 
wow guys this is ridiculous like second cast are they just stacked up down there what in the heck guys how many casts in a row you think we could do this i mean they're eating good too look at this plumpy little turd All right, put the Guggenkraw back on. We got ourselves some Carl Worms. I think these are gonna do it, to be honest. I think my hook might be a little bit big, but uh, it should be all right. We got a juicy old salty uh, ribbon tail worm. So we're gonna quickly swap that out with a uh, Guggenkraw. Hey -ho! I made a video on this guy not too long ago, and uh, you know, sometimes you just gotta resort to going with the good old classic worm. Sometimes the little guys just like to slurp it on up. Or they just like to grab the tail and frustrate you. That happens just as much. But um, let's huck it right out there. Let her sink down just a tidbit. You know, in a few years, this, this pond might not be a bad spot to fish. But unless they freshly stock this, I have no idea, honestly, guys. But these are nice little healthy bass. They're eating good. I mean, for like little tiny guys, these guys are really, really healthy dudes. Thanks, bud. Get you back in there. Alright All right, y'all, first one down. I'm not gonna say a fail, but I'm also not gonna say success because I did come out here, completely new pond, and never fished before. Guggenbait killed it, the Carl worm killed it, and uh, you know, we're just not finding the caliber of the fish that we're looking for. So we're gonna go move on to this other pond. Again, we're going in with the blindfold on, but hopefully we come out, you know, with a big old slaunch. So uh, I'm about to drop everything in my hands right now and cross the street. I don't want to get hit by a car. So I'll see you guys in, uh, in a second here. You know, I never know about these kind of spots. This looks like it might have some potential, but at the same time, it's one of those places where it probably gets pressured a lot. It's really hard to find, you know, land to fish, let alone, oh man, I'm, I'm just dropping everything over here. Oh no, no, not, no. Shop Carl's down. So this looked a lot bigger on the map, which is crazy to me, but it may have potential. As you guys can see, there's like a picnic table here and everything like that, which means it's kind of like public for the development. So my guess is that uh, it's probably really pressured, but that doesn't mean everybody knows how to fish it. And that doesn't mean that there's not big fish in it. So we're gonna give it a go. I think I'm gonna start with that square bill again and I'll see what happens. So, oh man, I'm tired today, boys. I am super, super super tired but i don't know i'm feeling kind of good about this all right so we're going to start with this little square bill again i'd like to catch a fish on it i vibe really well with it it looks like there's like a beach over there like people swim here or something that's interesting start wow this reel man i lube these things up a little bit and they are just flinging lures to the moon oh that cast was beautiful beautiful Oh, there's a fish, and it feels like a good one. It feels like a good one. Oh, no, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know why it felt so big. Probably because it's a medium light rod. Okay. I told you that was a good cast. Oh, okay. 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 Right. Wow, that thing felt like a giant. I haven't used just like a medium crank rod in a minute, and it felt like it just got annihilated right off that pipe. I told you guys. I was feeling frisky about it. I knew someone would eat this square bill. Yummy old catch go square bill. A little bass. Dude, I thought, I thought that was a big one. I gotta stop saying it's a good one. Because then it's gonna, I'm gonna say it's small and it's gonna be like a 10 pounder. <laughs> yeah, right. Not in the world I live in. I don't even find three pounders. There's another one. Maybe they're all gonna come right off this pipe. About the same size, little guy. But I will take it. Oh, dude, what is going on? 
Sorry, guys. I'm really not trying to, like, fling you and knock you out. Or, or no, that's not two in a row. But I think they might be stacked up. There might be a little lay down on the side of this pipe. Let's see if they get a little bit bigger, though. All right. I know this is silly. If the crankbait's working, why would I put it down? But I want to try this worm out. I just feel like if I throw this worm over here by this tree... Well, that was nowhere near the tree. Guys, I don't know what's wrong. I'm just, I'm in one of those moods today where I'm just like, <laughs> you know, like, I'm just like mashed potato brain. That is in the water over there. I keep looking at, what, look guys, look at the size of this aimer. Holy cow. That is one of the biggest aimers. Do you guys think I could catch it with a spinning rod and like a, I won't. I'm gonna, oh, there's a bass right there as I'm looking at the hammer. I'm gonna put a piece of bread. I actually have bread in my truck. I'm gonna try and catch it. That is savage, but I'm gonna try and do it. Oh, all right, he flipped off again. Guys, there's like a 45 pound aimer. I have a spinning reel with 30 pound braid in it, and I have Wendy's in my truck, like french fries and stuff. So here's what we're gonna do. I know this is completely random and off topic, but he's just chilling. I think if I threw, like a little split shot on. Guys, this is about to get ridiculous. All right, so you guys know I'm not snagging it or anything ridiculous like that. Here's some bread from Wendy's. I'm gonna mash it on my hook. Oh, no way. Guys, that's like a six foot aimer. I didn't even know they got that big. Took off. We're gonna come back to that. I gotta get a better dough ball. Back to bass fishing. That was just, guys, I don't think I've ever seen a grass carp that big in my life. Like, ever. I don't even, I don't, I don't know what I'll do if I even catch one, so I don't even know if I'm gonna try after that, to be honest. That would be crazy. It was just, it was just made for crazy content. There's a fish. A lot of little ones. I am the small fish catcher, boys and girls. This one does not look too, uh... Oh, he looks alright. Stay, buddy. I don't want you to hook your go plate. Don't move, don't move, don't move. Save you from ripping your gills out, my guy. So close. There you go, bud. Catch go crankbait's killing them over here, though. Okay, guys, so if you guys just want to see how I'm rigging up, Carl's actually makes their own version of like a four inch Cinco. I like to use four inch, um, it's kind of what I grew up using. So, I'm gonna go ahead and throw a four inch on just like so. Bingo, bingo. Actually, I'm gonna move him back a little bit. Got a little wacky worm right there for me. And uh, all right, guys, so we officially walked to the other side of the pond. Where I've been seeing quite a bit of stuff move. Does that make sense? Quite a bit of stuff. I don't know. I don't really care. All right, what should we start with? The wacky worm? Let's try the Carl's wacky worm. What do you guys think? The Carl's wacky worm gonna be just as good as a Yanomoto Cinco? So here's the beauty of this. I like this worm because it's inexpensive. Not to mention you get 30% off a Carl's club, but and this isn't just an ad, guys. I'm literally being dead serious for you guys. <laughs> so a lot of you guys may not like. Yanomoto Cinco's, you don't want to spend a lot of money. This is a cheap, like almost $2, oh, there we go. Almost a $2 alternative that works just as good as you guys can see on the first cast. And uh, if you do like the Yanomoto's, well, guess what? They have them on their website just so you can get Yanomoto's if that's what you like to. I'm gonna grab your body, but where did she go? You flung my sinker off, my Stanko somewhere. Where the heck did he go? So there's actually a ton of rocks right up here. Looks like another big grass carp kind of zoomed off. I'm gonna throw this crankbait around these rocks. See if I can't pick up a fish over here. This just looks juicy. Here's a fish. Boom. A lot of little ones, man. A lot of little ones.
I know it looks like I'm really high up in the air because the GoPro's got an ultra, live, ultra wide lens, but it's really not that high, I promise. <laughs> looks like I'm throwing fish off a cliff. See if I can get some off this dock. There's a the fish. Still not much size to them though. All just doinks. I swear guys, it wasn't it wasn't meant for me to catch big fish. I, I don't know. <laughs> or bass for that matter. Look at that. Maybe what? Seven inches? Oh gosh guys. I know my mood's kind of like blah in this video and, and I apologize for that. Life is great. Things are going amazing. I have no reason to complain. I'm just a little stumped. I'm a little I'm a little frustrated because I would love to get on a good bass bite soon. Like I grew up a diehard bass fisherman. I used to tournament fish. Like I used to be an obsessive bass fisherman and I just I can't find any decent fish. And I don't think that like I I, I know what I'm doing. I just, the quality fish aren't around like they used to be where I live. And, uh, you know, I do know some spots I can get quality fish, but they're all an hour and a half drive for me and things like that. So, unfortunately, by the time I get off work, some days, you know, I get an hour or two, like it's 640 right now. And, uh, you know, it gets dark, 730, 8 o'clock. And uh, it stinks. I do hope you guys learned something because I am still catching fish and I still try to be somewhat informational when I can, but uh, you know, it's just, I don't know. It is what it is, you know what I mean? Do me a favor, leave me a comment down below or tag Flair in this if you think that I'm just taking over the Flair Fish Nation because if you guys live near the Cleveland area, hit me up, maybe we'll meet up and fish. Maybe you got a better place to fish. Maybe you wanna fish with me. Maybe you wanna show me how to catch a five pounder. Leave a comment down below if you're from the Cleveland area or near the Cleveland area and want to meet up sometime and fish, maybe I'll pick one of you guys to go out and do it. DM me on Instagram, leave a comment down below, show me what you got, and uh, maybe we'll go fishing for the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Shop Carls, for sponsoring this video. Hey, if you guys are new here, do me a favor, smash that subscribe button, drop a like on this video if you're digging the content. If you don't follow me already on Instagram, shoot me a follow. You guys are going to see a lot of exclusive content that you don't see here on YouTube on Instagram. Other than that, thank you guys so much, baby. Keep that day length high. Hey, whatever, blah, 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 blah.